Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today for Miss Erin's story time. I hope you guys are having a good week, enjoying spring. We've had some warm weather lately. So I wanted to remind you um, to go to our Facebook page, the Troy and Miami County Public Library page, or the Oaks Bytema Memorial Library Facebook page. On both of those pages, we have different story times. There will be um, two other teachers, Miss Nancy and Miss Bethany, that are doing story time, as well as Mr. Bill doing an adult story time. So make sure you check out those pages to see what all resources we may have. Also, I will be doing later this evening at 6.30 a craft time. Um, and you'll see what craft I'll be doing then each Thursday. I plan to have a story time and a craft time. So make sure you check both of those out. If you like it, make sure you put a heart or a thumbs up and add a comment about what your favorite thing about spraying is. Okay? So now to story time. We are going to be reading books about bees. Now, I don't want you to be scared of bees because bees are a great thing. We need them in the springtime. So before we start reading, let's go ahead and get our hands ready. Okay, so we start out with them closed. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin. Now open your little mouth wide, but do not let them in. Let them fly like little birds high up in the sky. Now falling, 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 falling almost to the ground. Now pick them up and turn them slowly, slowly, round and round. Then faster, 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 lay them in your laps. Okay, now that our hands are in our laps, we are ready to do our first story. Honeybees. Honeybees are insects. Honeybees have six legs. Let's go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Honeybees have hair. Look how fuzzy they are. Honeybees have eyes, large eyes, and they actually have five eyes. Two big ones, one, two, and three small ones. One, two, three. Honeybees have a proboscis, which right there looks like a tongue. Honeybees have antennas. Honeybees have a stinger right here. You want to be careful of those. Honeybees have wings. Look at this, this pretty honeybee's wings. Honeybees fly and buzz. Buzz. There's some facts. The end. B. A peek through a picture book. Dawn is breaking on a brand new day, and in the meadow, poppies sway. A bee appears striped black and gold, 
a wonder of nature is about to unfold. In the treetops, birds start to sing. The little bee beats her wings. As she travels here and there, a gentle humming fills the air. Back and forth, to and fro, Bee knows exactly where to go. Visiting flowers of every hue, she has a special job to do. Gathering nectar as she goes, from every foxglove, every rose, dusty with pollen, the little bee buzzes, buzzes busily. Bee travels on from bloom to bloom, drawn in by their sweet perfume, harvesting flowers one by one. Her compass is the midday sun. Among the orchard's apple trees, blossoms quiver in the breeze. Carrying pollen from place to place, Bee always leaves a tiny trace. Flowers as far as the eye can see. Too many flowers for just one bee. All of a sudden, bee is gone. She has a message to pass on. Back at the hive, bee spreads the news. There's work to be done, no time to lose. Listen for their gentle humming. The word is out. The bees are coming. Buzzing over the dense hedge grows, past the pond where the wild thyme grows, through the orchard's sweet smelling scent, the bees travel on with calm intent. As lilies grow orange in the sun, the bees must finish what they've become what they've begun. Stopping at every flower they find, leaving the gift of pollen behind. The bees pass over the woodland stream, droplets sparkle and pebbles gleam. Water trickles, bubbles, and weaves. A weeping willow trails its leaves. As the bees fly on through buds and burrs, a tiny miracle occurs. So many plants and flowers you see were given life by one small bee. The end. Okay guys, that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed both of my bee books. Um, and again, remember that if you like this story time, that you give it a thumbs up or a heart and leave a comment about what your favorite thing is about spring or leave a picture of you outside in the spring weather. So make sure that also you join me tonight, 6.30 for my craft and you guys have a good day. Bye.